What is going on everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to Epic Tube HD and uh, the birthday celebration. Um, yeah, I didn't say anything all day today. I kept quiet and uh, yeah, I was like, well, um, I don't know what we're going to do today. We didn't really do anything except celebrate uh, Epic Hayden's walk from 8th grade to ninth grade so from the middle school to the high school and um i got really burned uh out there so let's check who's in the chat this evening with us on this friday night here in the state of georgia we got nicole davis chimed in early saying happy birthday harley thank you so much nicole uh also jim and nicole i should say from jd state zenturians in the house um happy birthday harley dude is old yes i know um, I don't get often how pe people think I'm that old, but yeah, I'm up. I'm getting up there, guys. I am getting up there. Uh, let's see what else do we got here. We got Shiny Goggles is in the live here. What is going on, Shiny? Hope you're doing well, dude. Happy birthday! Thank you so much. Go, Gilbert, my man, Gilbert over at Go Cards and stuff. Epic, epic, epic shirts. I really do like those. Uh, we'll have to talk. See if I can grab one or two from you, and um. Yeah, I really like the 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 designs you went with. We got Artemis is in the house. Artemis seventeen hundred. What is going on? Happy birthday! Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, Artemis. Um, of course, Epic Mom is in the chat with the Ola. Um, Cardboard Addicts Podcast is in the house. Yo, Cardboard Addicts Podcast. What is going on, everyone? We'll talk about that later. If you don't know what's going on with that, we'll fill you in. Jodo Johnny says, happy birthday. Thank you, Jodo Johnny. I appreciate it so much, man. Uh, miss you, bro. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. We got Grumpy Charizard is in the house. Hello, everybody. We got our family, Steph. What is going on, Steph? Uh, Chris. Chris is in the house. There's the birthday boy. Thank you so much, man. Happy birthday also from um, Steph and the R family. Still getting a few more stuff on the package. I'm sending you. Hey, man, no worries, uh, Shiny. Like I said, I don't ever expect anyone to send us anything. I've, it makes, In fact, it makes me feel terrible because um, I hate really accepting things from anybody because, you know, it's we're just all about the community and stuff. But whatever you do, dude, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, so we... I basically didn't know what I was. We were gonna do today. I said we woke up early this morning, and we we knew we we're gonna be running around. We were gonna be sitting out in the sun for a good six six hours. You know, or well not six hours, probably four to six hours today. And again, we celebrated um, Hayden's walk from eighth grade to ninth grade today. So he's officially going over to the high school next year, which is we're super pumped about. I I can't believe it. It was just yesterday. Um, I had him in my arms and, you know, my, it, it was just amazing to have my first son and, uh, to watch him get up to this point already. It's been so great. Oh yeah. <laughs> Isabella showed me on her iPad. You got to keep it down. You got to go blow your nose. She's getting the sniffles. Um, we've got, I just saw somebody else. Sorry. Seismic shock, dude. Yo, what's going on? Seismic. Um, absolutely still blown away dude that was like uncalled for I, and i don't know what else to say i was going to contact you this week um we ended up having a crazy insane week since the last live because this is the second to last week for the kids that go to school um which i know is really weird to a lot of people but here where we live it's considered like all year school so they get two months of off for the summer that's it just two months it's strict but we get a lot of time off through the entire year. Um, so they end school officially next week. But most of the festivities was this week. So we spent a lot of time between the elementary school and the middle school. And also soccer was wrapping up this week um, from um, Hayden Soccer Club. Isabella had gymnastics tonight. Uh, they did her award ceremony. And she got to do her, uh, her recital or whatever it was called. So... I got a medal. Yes, she got a medal. It, Like I said, everyone, it has been a really insane week from the live. I really meant to reach out and, and talk to every single person who um, who was so kind to us on the last live. It's just an amazing thing. I, I really can't believe it still, and it really did move us. Um, we did get the ice cream today, everybody. 
Um, if if you didn't see our Instagram post, uh, here let me switch to the camera. But uh, yeah, we went and we officially got the ice cream today. Uh, we had to go get that done. Let's see here. Uh, I'm clicking on the wrong one. I have so much going on here. So here we go. If you guys didn't see the post, that was the post. So we again, we went and got the ice cream per Toxicroak, who um, that was his thing. He's like, you guys got to go get ice cream. We we're like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So there's the ice cream. Also, Look, Daddy. Um, Look. I know. I see. Oh, Rainbow Bella is in the chat, everybody. Rainbow Isabella is in the chat. So there is Rainbow Isabella getting her award. Uh, and this was their, this is her class for gymnastics. Um, and for those, if, if curious to see about Hayden, this was Hayden. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when when I was in school, which which I'm one of those old people now, so I got to say, way back when I was in school, we used to do things like, well, it's true. Um, and there goes the camera. I still do not have my Panasonic back. I still do not have it back. Um, waiting for the Panasonic to come back to us. Uh, $500, man. $500 to fix the camera. All because... I'm going on a rant real quick. Sorry. Um, uh, oh, Epic Tube Gaming's in the house. This card from Scandisk, which I'm a very, very loyal customer of Scandisk, these, the tips break off in your very expensive camera, and then they destroy your camera. And that's what happened to my Panasonic, my GH5. And it has two slots, and it broke both slots. And then they also told me that it damaged the motherboard uh, card reader slot part. So it all has to be replaced. So $500 to fix the camera. So I'm still using this really old, this is like a 10 year old camera. It might, might be over the 10 years old now. Um, but anyways, that's that was Hayden getting uh, their ceremony. I cannot believe what they do um, to celebrate going to, uh, look, look at this. I mean, it's like a graduate, it's like a full on graduation guys. Just these are eighth graders just going to high school and they make a huge thing of it. And I'm like, we didn't do not. You just went to high school, you know? So anyways, it is pretty cool though. I think it's pretty cool. Gives the kids something, you know, a little reward, you know, to, to, for all the hard work. So let's get back. Uh, congrats to Hayden. Um, Shiny goggles that big going to high school. My son just graduated high school. Oh, congratulations, Shiny on the graduation there. Um, yeah, this is, th this will be our second one. Actually, we have, if you guys don't know, we are grandparents. So we have a 25, wait, 25 or 26. She'll be 26 we have a 25 year old with, um, two kids and they're in bed and you guys have probably seen them in the live before. Um, she graduated high school first. And then of course now Hayden, uh, we had that big gap there. And then we got Epic Ethan. He's going into middle school, so he make he's making the walk. Uh, he make the walk as well from from elementary to middle school this week, and then Isabella goes into first grade, and then um, my daughter's uh, kid, our grandson, he goes into kindergarten next year. So it's like school never stops. So so crazy, guys. Um, Happy birthday, old man from Sudan. Thank you so much, Sudan. I appreciate all the love. Um, JD Stay says, how did you like the video, Harley? Uh, JD, that was a really epic video. You did a fantastic job in your 151 voices. Honestly, um, coming from the acting profession, you did a very, very good job. Um, I'm glad to see you put that hard work in like we talked about. And you made it happen. It was a great video. So if anybody wants to see someone do 151 Pokemon voices, check out JD State. He did it today. Um, pretty cool. It's something we had been talking about. I, I didn't know he was going to do that. Um, so congratulations, dude, on that. Um, again, you know, we're here to help everybody in the community. So, you know, it's 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 awesome stuff like that, man. Hey, haha, bro. Don't worry, man. My man made me feel better than you probably. 
No, Seismic, you have no idea, dude. That that was way beyond anything. And, uh, you know, we don't discuss our situation in life going on, but, you know, you don't understand how much that really meant to us. So thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for that. Um, if people actually understood, I've only bought Pokemon product, I think, once or twice this entire year. So it's 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 2020 caught up to us in 2021, unfortunately. So, But things are turning around, guys. Things They're going to turn around. We're super pumped. We're keeping up positive vibes, and I am excited to be open, cracking open some really cool stuff today. In fact, um, some good news. Just I just got an audition, literally. <laughs> I just got an audition as uh, I was sitting here. So we'll have to go check that out and see what it is. Um, yeah, this is that time of year, man. They start rolling in. So uh, if you don't know anything about the – if anybody wants to ask any questions about – what I do for a living or kind of don't do for a living, uh, what I do is a hobby, um, what my former profession was, um, what I used to, you know, anyone, you're, I'm open to any questions anybody wants to ask. Um, what have I seen in my life? Um, I'm 46 years old now, and it's amazing all the things we've lived through. But I was just talking to Epic Mom tonight. You know, we think about all the things we've been through so far in our life. Think about those people who, oh crap, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Yo, Grumpy, thank you. Dude, 9 dollars Thank you for the super chat, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't even see that. Thank you so much for the super chat, Grumpy. That's so amazing, dude. You didn't have to do that though, man. I know you got, um, you said you were going to take care of me on something else. So definitely, dude, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, man. But I was telling Epic Mom tonight, you know, people who are in their 80s and 90s, think about all the stuff they've seen in their life. World War II, because most of the World War I people are gone. You know, World War II, um, the Vietnam War, uh, the Cold War, um, the Korean War, uh, the, the, the initial, um, um, uh, 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 the, the initial fight for, for freedom and equality, you know, the, the, the great movement. Hold on, hon, hold on. The great movement that happened, um, the the gas shortages of the 70s, the Cold War in the 80s, Iraq, um, the Kuwaiti the Kuwaiti thing, 9/11, um, the great blackout, you know, uh, of our time, and right after 9/11 happened, so many crazy things have happened in their life compared to what we've experienced, and so, um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're, <laughs> Nat's calling me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My brother-in-law's calling me. Um, so, so many crazy things have happened in their lives, you know. So, we think we've gone through a lot, but, you know, we're, we're just halfway through our life. So, um, pretty amazing stuff, you know, to think about all the things we've been through. I'm sorry. Let me get back to the chat real quick. You guys know how I can talk. I mean, it's it's what I do, guys. It's what I do. <laughs> so get back to the chat, which is the worst thing I'm at. I'm so sorry for that. Um, so again, I know we got uh, Hello Kitty Booty. <laughs> Laugh my butt off. Ice cream for Isabella. Yes, she got her ice cream, everybody. Congrats, H.I. Um, nice metal. Um, what the heck? Uh, small openings, SGA. Hey, real, one other thing real quick. I want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you. To all of my friends that help me out when I go live, the ones that are helping to mod our channel, they su they've they supported us now for a year, two years, some for six months. Um, thank you so much to you guys. Henry at Small Openings, Zenturian. Um, I don't want to say anybody's first names because I don't know how people feel about that. Um, um, you know, David's Pokey Life. Again, super busy dude. Uh, Gus over at Pokey Loot Collector. This guy has been... This guy, Gus, has been one of our very first supporters since we got into this. And I can't thank uh, Gus for all the support and love he's shown and given us. And um, you got a boo-boo. You know, thank you so much, Gus, for being there uh, with us. I mean, it's almost two years now. I think we've known you, man. Um, you know, uh, just amazing stuff. Sudan, thank you so much for being there as a friend. Um, you've been really epic to us. I know Sudan is the most epic troll, but guys, if you don't know Sudan, he is really a kind person. He's a really great person. He just loves 
to just troll you and he does it to me and you just got to take it because he actually means a lot he's a great person um you know he's been a really good friend to ours since we've become good friends of his uh again so many epic people that support us jim and nicole again uh we've become good friends with jim and nicole over time again another great supporters um, and again, these are the people that, you know, we, we've, we've enlisted to help us with our mods. So thank you so much to our mods. And I, you know, I always forget people and it drives me nuts because I hate forgetting people. It's the worst thing in the world, especially cause I, I call myself an actor and yet I forget people. It's so crazy. So, but again, uh, thank you to everybody full of the mod squad in here guys. So, um, again, we're going to get to this everybody. Um, what is he? Oh, Shiny says, hope you pull the RR Pikachu and those R alternate arts from Battle Style. Yes, thank you, Shiny. That would be pretty epic if we could get something like that. Uh, would love to definitely pull it, especially live in front of all you guys. Um, I've got, we've got a lot more mods. Uh, who am I missing from our mod squad here? Um, I know Zin it's getting late for Zenturi and he's going to be passing out pretty soon. He has a battle fighting, uh, fighting staying up late. And uh, keep chewing your mouth shut, please. You don't chew your mouth open. What am I teaching you? Um, but again, thank you so much to all you guys out there. I have to get that out. I just feel like from the heart, it, it just means a lot that you guys are here supporting us, especially when um, our channel just isn't making it right now. We're, we're just getting crushed, and uh, it really sucks. And, um, you know, you want to get down, but I'm going to keep pushing forward. You guys saw I dropped a video last night. I was about to go to sleep. I was falling asleep when I got the, the text, the notification that they had just released the EV Heroes. I was like, you know what? I told Zen, I made a promise. I was going to get up and I was going to start making these videos um, when they dropped the news. And I'm going to try and do that since I don't have prom. You know what? Big shout out to Mama Matrix. I know she's not in here, but she kind of um, inspired me that when you don't have a whole lot of product, start making other content. Start doing other things, you know? And so I was like, I'm going to make this video, and I'm going to drop it. It was a late-night drop. Unfortunately, it has completely tanked, and that's just the way it goes. But anyways, we have got some great stuff to open. I'm going to open this trainer box up tonight. We're going to open this battle styles up, courtesy of our good friend Nightmare Pokemon. Uh, Jeremy has been a really cool friend to us lately, and um, we've been talking for quite a few months now. And uh, we actually share a lot in common. I mean, like, way more than I even thought we did. So um, he sent us this box. Again, he's a good friend of ours, and big thank you to that. And then I'm going to open as the big one tonight. I'm going to go ahead and break in to this bad boy right here. The Charizard Evolution ETB box. Now, this is the one that was cracked open that I had been saying for a long time I was going to make a video on, and I just never got around to it. So I am definitely gonna crack into this box tonight. We're gonna we're gonna open some packs and hopefully we'll pull something cool is in here, guys. So let's go ahead and get this party rolling with who want who let's I haven't opened a battle style, so let's go ahead and crack open the battle styles first, everyone. If you guys don't mind, I want to crack open some battle styles. Um really looking forward to this. So here we go. Cracking into the battle styles. Yes, happy birthday. Thank you so much, pumpkin. Yeah, so the kids. You guys can't see it, but I got all the cards hanging up behind me, um, along with the awesome letter that uh, Jeremy from Nightmare Pokemon sent me, and uh, as well as Pogo Dad sent me. Again, thank you so much. I got them all hanging up. I hang up. I got everybody's letters. I keep everything. I'm a hoarder. If nobody doesn't know that by now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> He's a Pokemon hoarder. I'm a Hello Kitty hoarder. All right. So what do we got here? Sorry, I'm going through the chat, and uh, let's see. We're doing the stream is doing great tonight, man. I made sure I ran the speed test. I'm on the Ethernet. We're running really well. The only thing is, Epic Ethan when he gamed the other night, he messed my audio up. This was after the last last live we did, so now I can't get the music to play without having an echo. I don't know what he did. But he changed an audio setting, and I cannot get it right again. Um, so tell me, do you guys hear an echo when you hear the music? I'm going to put it really, really light. So tell me if you hear an echo, everybody. 
Pogo Dad, I just mentioned you, man. I was just talking about you, Pogo Dad. Um, PTCG Hustler, dude, what's going on? Let's run these packs. That's right. I'm so excited. I'm so behind, and I'm so late to the party, everybody. This is my first booster box of battle style. My only booster box of battle style. So thank you so much, Pogo Dad. I appreciate it, man. Here we go. First pack. Um... This tells you, I'm not going to show the code yet. I'm going to go right into it, everyone. Can't hear the music. I got it really low. I'm so scared. It's going to be, let's see here. Can you hear it now? Because I hear. I can hear the echo coming on my end, actually. Here's to watching you pull the Tyranitar for your birthday. Yo, that would be so epic, man. That would be absolutely epic if I could pull the Tyranitar. Yo, yeah, check that lick a tongue out, man. Nice. We got an Electabuzz. Really, really cool artwork on the Electabuzz. Does anybody hear the, the music or the the um the echo yet? We got a Lux Ray Reverse Rapid Strike and yo, our first hit. First pack magic. Empoleon V. This is really cool. Nice. That is nice. Nice, 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 nice. And Steph is back from the R family. They started our family started their new season up, everybody. Um, I don't hear an echo. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Sword word and Shearbert, and there is your your card right there. Again, code cards do tell me what I'm gonna get in the pack, so I'm going to skip doing the card trick, everybody. She's trying to here, can you, you see him? All right, there he is. There's Storm. All right. Goodbye, Storm. So first pack out of the way. We got to hit everybody. That's that's a good start to the birthday stream. Here we go. Woo! It's so crazy, guys. Make sure to smash that like button, everybody. Um, you know, I hate asking to do that, but I watched a whole bunch of videos last week, and they all say that if people aren't, hitting the like button it's gonna hurt your channel more so I, I mean i mean i hate asking people to do it but if you could smash that like button for us supposedly that is part of the problem but uh we'll see what happens we got a cubone and a conclader doing some weights there that's a grumpy charizard right there in fact grumpy this should be your new mascot dude right here this is your new mascot grumpy right there here we got some energy. What are you doing, little girl? We got a carnivine. Yeah, you're acting all silly on me. Did you get medicine or something? She's filling filling little snuffles again, everyone. I think she's getting allergies. Hit home hard. You want to open a pack? Is that what you want to do? All right, Isabella, for the birthday stream. Now, having Isabella on here is probably gonna get the channel demonetized. <laughs> it's gonna kick us into uh, kids category again. Isabella is over the age of 13, YouTube. Susan Wachowski. She's over 13, okay? I'm her father. Let's not... Oh, see? You showed this code. You showed the code. Don't show the code next time. You got. You can't show them. We're going to keep that one for uh, Epic Hayden. All right, there we go. We got a Cherubi. JD says, I finally slept. Um, Renatar would be the hit. Yes, Ran that's the only card I really want, and the full art, and the full art. So, look at that, Hungry more Pico. I don't hear an echo, I'm, I appreciate that you guys aren't hearing the echo, that makes me, that makes me feel better. Um, Kitty, sound is good to me, no echo, okay, the audio is just a millisecond off, but all good otherwise. Yeah, I think the, um, okay, excuse me, hon, alright, hop, hop, pop on out, girl, pop on out. Yep, you're knocking stuff over over there. Um, yeah, I think the Elgato S60, I think it's, it's, it's bad. It's causing a really bad lag. Uh, I think I need to get something better. All right, here we go. Bro, bro. I've been waiting almost two days for a vid to process. Wow. Is that 4k? I know 4k it does. Yeah. If you're going to shoot in 4k, 
you have to plan two to three days in advance depending on the length of your video if you plan on going over 10 minutes you can expect two days for sure 15 minutes you're looking at three days on 4k and we got our first hollow it's a meow stick so there we go we'll put that right up there she put that up. <laughs> she put these up there we don't want to do that we're, we're gonna leave those down we got cheryl that'd be a cool card to pull too cheryl we got some energy we got a phobie love that card and there is your code everybody pogo dad says yeah 4k use the new phone oh that yeah, man got that new phone that's gonna be pretty sick man shiny says i got super lucky pulled the alternate art of trinitor well dude that is awesome because i hear it's very very difficult to pull the tyranitar card so my hopes are not very high but you never know it is my birthday so maybe something good will happen we got a zubat it's already been a really fantastic day got to see my kids um so go you know change changing grades so that's pretty cool but a tyranitar would be nice today tyranitar or a nice goal uh uh, a trainer card. I'm not that pumped for the gold, everybody. I know, I know, I know. Don't kill me, but I'm not that pumped for the gold, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go back to 1080. Yeah, 1080. Uh, if you want to get your stuff uploaded quick, man, 1080 is it. You know, YouTube has. I'm gonna hit this button to make sure the cameras get shut off again. I gotta touch up the camera button to make sure it activates the camera. So you remember, I'm using a DSLR Canon, and um, oh, another quick story, everybody. So I'm filming as Hayden is walking up to accept his certificate, you know, for eighth grade to move to ninth, and this stupid camera shut off on me. Literally, that the person right after they got the person in front of him and they called his name. So I missed it. I mean, we did get other video from camera from phones, but I had this one with a telephoto lens zoomed in, nice and crisp, and it shut off on me. I about lost it and smashed the camera into the stands. Not a joke. It they had to call me down because I was really upset. But uh, that's why this camera, you guys, it has an automatic shut off, and there's nothing you can do about it because it is a very old camera. It is a good camera. But it's old and it's lacking in a lot of things. So, Pogo Dad, yeah, 4K. Use the new phone. I already saw that. Uh, I got. I pulled the Tarnator. I didn't know that. I'm going back. I record 4K, but I'll export to 1080. Yeah, you can. You can do that. You can still record 4K and export it out out of 1080. Wow, Zen. I'm glad I found this out. Uh, laugh my a o. Pronouncing how everything is spelling it. <laughs> no, right in the moment sucks. Yeah. Ashlyn 4000 what is going on thank you welcome to coming to the stream happy birthday she says thank you so much yo there's that epic did you guys see the Entei in the uh Eevee Heroes set coming out yo that card is gonna be absolutely sick I can't wait we got Necrozma Necrozma V I'm gonna have to hold the card back a little I know it's a little dark I changed the lighting up a little bit because it gets so hot under me that uh, it drives me nuts. But again, um, David's in the house. Yo, David. We've been giving you shout outs every video. We miss you, bro. And I know you don't live that far from me. We got to get together. Maybe go to La Perez one day or something. Get some food. I don't know. I know you're the super busy man in the house. So um, David Pokey Life is in the house, everybody. What is going on? Hey, Nicole and Pogo Dad. I've been good. Here we go with another pack. With another pack. I really like this Mawal art. I think it's pretty epic as well. <laughs> Isabella's getting ready for you guys. She wants to come show something. Yo, there we go with the Mind Fool. Mind Fool. And Stone Junior, non hollow. Brushix, you guys gotta understand, I know a lot of you have seen battle styles, but for me, a lot of these cards are really new to me. All right, here we go. Epic is, or Rainbow Isabella. Hold on one second. Let's go to the big box. Let's go to the big box here. 
All right. She wants to show you guys. Come on in, Rainbow. Hop on up. There we go. So there's her awards and her, and she wants to show, all right, let's see. Show your medal and her medal. So. <laughs> I got two medals. She like has two medals. Medal. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's really excited, everybody. She's super excited, so. Uh, go cards in case I have to get off soon. I predict a hollow zard from each ETB. Yo, yes, thank you. Hey, if you got to go, I appreciate it, Gilbert, for stopping by. Did I show these cards? Because Isabella came up to me right as I think I opened this pack. Let me make sure. Or no, this was the Stone Journal one. Okay. Gilbert, I just want to say, dude, I know, um, you, you got busy and things went silent, but, uh, I was missing you out there, bro. No, you're trying to get things. You're a, a true hustler out there, man. Gilbert's a good dude. Good dude. Here we go. We got a Shinx. Gilbert, if you guys don't know, Gilbert was technically our very first sponsor on the channel, everybody. I know not many people probably know that, but he actually sponsored a Yu-Gi-Oh! video of ours. And he was our first actual sponsor before um, Adam over at Pokey Charles. Um, started taking care of us a bit and um, um, I can't thank him enough for that so I'll always be a super appreciative of that and uh, yeah I know I don't open as much Yu-Gi-Oh lately it's just because of the times right now but believe me man I really want to get a case of um, Ghost of the Past but like everything else it's just shot up so insanely in price man so crazy how much Ghost of the Past shot up and, and the chance of pulling a ghost is harder than probably any other set to get a, to get a chase card. It's really hard to get a ghost in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not easy. And there's five of them in that set. Um, and David is in the house. Hi, Johnny. Uh, I'm still waiting for Battle Styles booster boxes. Yeah, I saw... If you guys have not seen, okay, if you don't know, Battle Styles is crashing. It is crashing, okay? I just got an email today from uh, a, a place I used to buy from. What was it? $99, I think it was. I think it was $99. Um, I posted it earlier. So, Battle Styles has definitely come down back to normal what pricing that we're used to. So, you can get Battle Styles for still under 100 bucks now, everybody. Um, which, I know it's it's been a hard set for a lot of people. But 99 bucks isn't too bad, man. I might have to pick up a box or two. Um, but right now, I'm so, so vested in Chilling Rain. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get anything else. It's going to be insane, guys. It's going to be insane. Uh, let's see. Billy Bob 21 happy birthday, Epic Tube. Thank you so much, Billy Bob 21 I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. I was just stopping by to say hi to my favorite puggy. Yo, that means so much, man. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that you think of us in that light. Um, Chris said a case says, hands up. I, I take it that's to Isabella. Yeah, everybody's congratulating Isabella. I found one ghost from the past box today at GameStop. Well, I've been seeing them at Target. There's a ton of them. Uh, we went to Target. They had a whole bunch of them. Um, I just can't afford to buy them right now. I got other things cooking, so I got to hold off. I got to pull back. We got the Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and there is our Galarian Slowbro. It's a non hollow rare. We got Carnivine Pharaoh. There's your code, everybody. Again, I do rip up the codes so they do not get reused. Okay? So don't want anyone getting used code cards. Woo! Let's see what we got here. Let me get some drink. Um. I haven't, Artemis says, I haven't gotten anything Yu-Gi-Oh! since 2019, and that was for a throwback item. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I have Yu-Gi-Oh! to open if I really want to, but I'm trying to keep it sealed. Um, I've got a Battles of Armageddon box, a, a full booster box over here, um, but I'm going to keep that sealed, although I would love to get the 10,000 card, uh, 10,000 card in it, that, that's really... Probably the, the biggest card I would love to own 
is that card. Um, I actually absolutely love that card. Other than that, I'm pretty much strictly a blue eyes collector. So most Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really excite me. Um, it's when they when they have blue eyes involved is when I get excited. And I can't help that, you know, it's just the way it is. Another non hollow rare. We got a Brushix, Buffalot, Erm, and there is a code. Yeah, it's really hard to pull a ghost skipping that set, even though I knew the sealed would go up. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm really mad at myself because back in December I had a chance to get a case and I passed because um <clears throat> I was trying to get vivid voltage and I had to make a choice and I was like I want that vivid voltage. Um so I, I passed on the case and then I passed on buying the mini cases. Um, when they were like 75 bucks a pop because now you can't get the mini cases for what 120 130 now some ridiculously crazy price it's double the price for sure and again your chance of pulling one of the good cards in that set it's it's extremely uber difficult and if people don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh um, and I mentioned this in a previous video Yu-Gi-Oh is very predictable oh we got a hollow it's a King Drahalo, everyone. Yu-Gi-Oh is predictable. If you buy a case of something from Yu-Gi-Oh, they often put the chase card just one time in the entire case. So if you pull the card early from a case, most likely the rest of the product in the case won't have the chase card. And so the value is completely tanked in those. And that's just the way Yu-Gi-Oh is. Um... And it sucks that it's so predictable. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Uh, if you can buy one at $14.99 in Target and, and one just to keep sealed, it's a beautiful box. Yes, 100%. I, I, I don't have them, but I'm going to get some to keep into our sealed collection. Again, I got to wait till I, I come up with the funds. Again, you got to prioritize what you want. And Chilling Rain right now is just way up here for me, so... Um, I've got to I've got to get some orders in for Chilling Rain. You better hurry up, man, because I'm already hearing uh, from Nightmare Pokemon, he's having a hard time getting orders already for Chilling Rain. And word is on the street, people are already canceling on pe uh, sellers are canceling on people because they took pre-orders early, and they knowingly did this. And knowingly, they were going to cancel people's orders and have to refund people back and tie those people's money up. It's already happening. We already saw several posts on it. Uh, I think today we saw it. So a lot of sellers who did the same thing for Champion's Path, did the same thing for Vivid Voltage, and did the same thing for Shining Fates. They took early pre-orders, okay, knowing that they weren't going to get their allotment of orders in but they were willing to do it because it, it guaranteed they were gonna sell their stuff, okay? They were not gonna be left holding anything in their hand and it definitely sucks. And they already did it for Chilling Rain. So be careful out there, everybody, with Chilling Rain. Um, you're, it's gonna be tough, man. Gonna be tough. Sudan says his phone died. It's all right, Sudan. It's all right, man. Um, he's back! Sudan is back. Could not get into this set. Hold on. Where are we at here? Uh, yeah, it's really hard to pull the ghost. Johnny says, could not get into this set at all. You know, yeah, you know, you got to really like certain things. You know, you can't dip into everything. You got to like what you're doing or like the set, like the, the, the stuff to collect it and want to spend that money. Um, I got to get some orders in. Uh, I saw a bunch of Yugo at Walmart today, but didn't check if it was ghost or not. Yeah. If you see Ghost of the Past, man, it's, it's a beautiful set, but again, um, very difficult to pull the chase card from it. Uh, you know, you got to really be a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh player to enjoy it. Um, that's pretty much how most Yu-Gi-Oh is. Yu-Gi-Oh is not really a collector's thing. It's really a player's game still. Uh, unlike unlike Pokemon, where Pokemon is both. It's, it's a collector's hobby as well as um, for the game, so... We might open 76 sleeved booster packs of voltage in a live stream tomorrow. All right. That's going to be freaking pretty epic. 76. 76. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. I've been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Market. 
uh, the past few months, all the older stuff has been leaving the market so much less than a year ago. Well, you know, when, when people can't get something of, of one, they start eventually dipping into the other. I do know scalpers started going after Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with Toon Chaos and uh, Battle Legends Armageddon. They really went after that set. And now, of course, with the collector's rares, they, they seem to have seen that, you know. Um, also, the gold, maximum gold, they were going after that as well. I mean, I personally watched them do it, so... I can stay in the middle here of this camera. Here we go. Um, I uh, Shiny Goggle says, I opened another booster box today. I pulled gold and a full art of single strike uh, Urshifu V. Dude, you got, sounds like you got some pretty nice luck. Oh, we got the reverse Houndoom. And, oh, we got a hollow Luxray. Luxray hollow. Um, fist bump energy for all you awesome people out there. There's the mustard. The mustard. Such a weird card. Um, Shiny, that is so great for you, dude. Um, I, I've watched a million battle style videos, and I've seen so many people disappointed with the hit rate. But it uh, sounds like you're doing pretty good, man. Congrats on your luck there. TCG grading. Hey, the party people. What is going on, TCG? I am sorry. I am very slow at getting to the chat. And if anybody who knows our channel knows I am the most worst youtuber on the planet and uh, and that's because i talk i talk i, I can't help it <laughs> so <laughs> um we got a q bone even if you get a ghost it might not be one of the two good ones that's true out of the five ghosts there's really only two that everybody wants that's that's uh, truth be known oh that's a cool looking victory bell actually truth be known there's only two two that everybody wants of course, and I same for me, of course. So, small opening says, "Okay, turned off Apex Legends." Yeah, uh, Henry and that Apex Legends, Henry, Momo, all those guys, man. I, I'm just not a gamer. Um, I've been promising people that I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start doing the Nintendo GameCube, and I've got the. I just first of all, zero time lately. It doesn't mean I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna start, but uh, I will stream some GameCube stuff here pretty soon. I just don't know when. Um, I thought you streaming in 22 hours, man. Oh yeah, I don't know. I just popped it in. Uh, Pogo Dad with the dollar 49 super chat. Thank you so much, Pogo Dad. Dude, you you're way too kind, man. You're way too kind. Way too kind. You know. I appreciate all you guys doing super chats, but man, you, that puts me on the spot, especially when I got to go to your lives. That's the other thing too. I hate missing my friends' lives because you guys are here to support me and there's nothing better than that. And when you guys go live and I have to miss it because one of the family things that we have going on, it really hurts me and I hate it so much. And I know I've missed Pogo Dad's lives, uh, the last couple lives he's done recently. Down goes Charizard. Is there a cat up there again? The cats go to the top of the thing and they knock over they knocked over my Exodia, the forbidden one, the pop, the big 10 inch pop. So I have two. I have one behind me that's open and I have one sealed that is now ruined because it's fallen at least three or four times. Cats, man. The cats. So look at that. Look at that pig. Look at that pig. There we go. Um, I got Shiny says I got my pre-order on both ETB of Chilling Rain. Who did you pre-order from, Shiny? Out of curiosity, I have Sh Chilling Rain coming from one source um, because I use my bulk. So remember that, everybody. You can use your bulk um, to help get product. So I traded in with the Hydro Pump. Um, because they, they take in bulk. Now, my, my good friend Adam over at Poke Charles, um, he doesn't do bulk. So I traded my with my other good friends, the other Adams, because um, everybody's name is Adam that we know that sells lately. Uh, they took our bulk. So I know I have some Chilling Rain coming. And then Poke Charles, I believe, has got something for me as well. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's still up in the air. I'm not quite positive on it, but I think I should have something in with him. So 
Hopefully so, because I really want to get it. You guys saw me go big on matchless fighters. Because I really want that freaking alternate art Moltres more than anything. And, I, and the gold Snorlax. Holy cow, I really want those so bad. Okay, let's get back to the chat, everybody. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, says David. Again, big shout out to my mods. Thank you so much. Cool, Squirtle Gaming. I this was tonight. Okay, uh, you know what? I, I didn't know I was going to go live because I didn't know what we were going to do tonight. And my wife was like, you know what you should do? Just go live. Open some packs up. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's, let's do it. So I figured, you know, I, this is stuff that's from my personal collection, everybody. This is stuff that I put away that I did not plan on opening other than the box that um, Jeremy from Night Nightmare Pokemon sent me. Um, and I figured, you know what? Sometimes you just got to dip in and open some of that stuff. But I really am trying to save the majority of the stuff for the kids for when they're older. Because um, that's my ultimate goal is I want them to have this stuff when they get old and they can be like us where we're at today except instead of going I wish I had stuff from back when you know they're going to say we have it and it'll be totally their choice if they want to open it or if they want to sell it or they want to pass it on to their kids but I just want to make that happen for them so that is why we have a sealed collection everybody and uh, I don't keep a lot of everything it's usually just one item of something so Salazzle. We haven't had a really good hit in a while now. It's been a minute, guys. It's been a minute. Um, happy again, happy birthday from Pogo Dad. Um, appreciate it again. If you're gonna, if you gotta check out Pogo Dad, not a problem. Uh, no worries. Shiny Goggle says it's my third time pulling that full art. Wow, that's pretty crazy because the full arts are pretty difficult to get now in these newer sets they've made them more difficult uh for sure in fact i think full arts are harder to get than the v maxes in my opinion so far in the sword and shield era that has been my personal experience so i don't know how it is for everybody else but um again big shout out to pogo dad for that dollar 49 I'm, i know i already went to it and i'm getting back um henry says hey there Steph. hey everybody says pogo dad Fortnite here. Uh, nah, Momo is MIA on me on Apex for the most of the time. Oh, that sucks. But Momo's also pretty busy too, so who knows? Nicole says yes, it is. We're trying to get mess. We're trying to get message rainbow messages rainbow and Pikachu. Oh, we're trying to get the rainbow and the Pikachu full art, possibly the rainbow Pikachu V Max again. Oh, Nessa, Nessa. Okay, Chris says I would tune into that. Definitely. I'm actually working on a video right now. Oh, we pulled the Houndoom once again. So we got Hollow Houndoom. That's two of those now, I think, right? I think we pulled it twice already. I, I love this card, dude. So, so, such a beautiful card. Um, I am working on a video right now. Um, I will probably have it finished by Monday or Tuesday. Um, we'll see how it goes. So it is a ranking video. It is not the video that Henry knows about that I never finished, which I really need to kick myself in the ass for. Um, I should have had that video out. Yeah, should have did that video because now I got to change it around because of the new sets that have popped since then. But uh, I have a ranking video coming out that I'm pretty pumped for. So I've been working on that. Uh, I started last week, and I've worked on it a little bit. I haven't had a whole lot of time, but I should have it finished by Monday or Tuesday. We got something, and we got a VMAX Corviknight. So, um, not a very big fan of this card. Um, it's really difficult to see, actually, even in person. Now, you can see there in the light. It looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it looks nice in the light, but it doesn't look that great in person, though. And the illustrator on this was Planita Machizuki. Juanita. So, no, Pla Planita. Oh. Yeah, very strange. But um, we got a full art. 
So we got something from the box. Now this is, by the way, this is the left-hand side of the box I've been pulling from, just for people who like to know that stuff. We've got a Luxo, a Spua. Pogo Dad says, I am not monetized, so ha. You're gonna get there, bro. You're gonna get there. I've been trying to help out um, JD State. I've been trying to help them get monetized. Uh, they're around eight to 900 hours short of monetization. Um, I can't remember Seismic Shock if he is there. I think he's, I think Seismic's monetized. If I remember right. See, it's so weird now because I'm seeing ads played on your guys' channels now that, you know, because now that whole YouTube thing came out where they can run, do what they want anymore. But I have seen ads on everybody's, on everybody's stuff now. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um... Oh, Sudan says it's Komiya art. Is that that's a Komiya art? Really? I didn't know that was Komiya art. Does it doesn't really resemble Komiya art, but okay. Sudan suit this is why Sudan is in the Cardboard Addicts podcast because of his epic knowledge of anime and all things TCG. That dude knows it. Very, very on top of his stuff, man. Also, big thank you to everybody who is showing love and support for the very first episode of Cardboard Addicts Podcast. It has already surpassed our expectations. I mean, like, legitimately, everybody. Our numbers for that podcast are insane. I mean, we, we're really blowing away, especially for the amount of subs on YouTube, um, but also iTunes, Spotify, um, Anchor.fm, which is pretty much Spotify. Um, we're all over the place. That, that podcast is on so many different platforms, and it has honestly um, just blown away the, um, what we ever th we anticipated the first podcast to get. We've got a lot of really cool stuff planned for the podcast, guys. We're, we're, we're going to be consistent uploading. So I believe the next podcast will be the exact same time and date. So you can expect our podcast, which I believe is on Monday. Okay, so that's when I believe we upload our podcast. Ben F. Production is in the house. He was the other moderator that I was talking about earlier. Uh, ben is a great friend of the channel. Thank you so much for being an epic mod, Ben. Um, we really appreciate everything you do for us. Um, thanks for popping into the live tonight, Ben. And we're back to non-hollow rares again, everybody. So here we go. We're seeing all these cars again. We're down to, I think, one more pack from the left side. I need to speed it up here because there's a lot to open here, everybody. Um, here we go. Another pack. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna help get Pogo dad. He needs 500 hours to get monetized So we're gonna do our part in trying to help Pogo dad. We always watch Pogo dad's videos from start to finish and um, We're gonna help him do our best to get him up there and again We're always helping our friend Jim Jim and Nicole out, you know, we're, we want to help everybody get up there We want to help everybody beat Susan Wojowski over at YouTube and go tell them to suck it because YouTube is, I can't say the word, but yeah. You can tell I'm not a happy camper with YouTube, everybody. I'm not a happy camper. We just got a really great comment on my XY Evolutions video. And uh, they were like, you know, this video should be like doing way better. And uh, it, was a, it was such a great feeling to have someone watch our video and get that comment. Because I put so much work into that XY Evolutions video and um, to make sure it was very accurate too. And to see that it pretty much tanked, it was pretty disappointing. Um, just like my bulk video. Do you know how long it took to film that bulk video? It took me like a week to film that video. And that video tanked. And again, it's solely because we are being, getting hit as a kids channel. And there's nothing we can do about it. I've sent messages. I've tweeted about it, um, and it really just sucks. So, But again, we're here making videos for fun, and we're just going to keep pushing along, and I know the growth is going to continue to come. So we did gain quite a few new subscribers recently, and I'm pretty pumped about that as well. Um, 
Again, if anybody has any questions, I know everybody in the chat right now is pretty much uh, knows me and knows knows our family and, and is friends. But if there's anybody new that would like to know about me, um, like to know about my history or what I've done or about Epic Tube HD or anything, just uh, feel free to ask in the comment section um, in the live and I'll be happy to answer those questions. But I'm pretty sure most of the people in here are our um, are consistent supporters of the channel. So again, I want to give a big shout out to all of you out there, which, what, at least 90% of you are content creators as well, um, and content creators that we support, we fully support, so again, thank you so much. Yo, we got the single, Strike Urshifu, nice, very nice, very nice, I'll take it, single, Strike Urshifu. I know the kids might want to get into some of these cards. Oh, another thing. We are going to have the Epic Ethan versus um, Hardcore Hayden. Epic Hayden, whatever he wants to be called. We're going to have the um, the battle between those two on who can make the better deck from the, uh, the Trainer Toolkit box. So we are going to get that filmed. As soon as the kids are out of school, we're going to get that filmed, everybody. That's going to be a great video, especially if you are a player of the Pokemon TCG. Because uh, both are very well versed in the game. So um, that should be a really cool battle, actually. And it'll be a little bit different because you're going to see some pack openings. But you're going to see how they put their 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 um, their deck together and their thought process. Which is going to be... I think that's going to be really cool. Oh, see? If I wait too long, the camera goes dead on me. I have to remember to keep it activating that button in the front. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Representing Charizard, the old school shirt tonight, by the way. Um, let me get back to the chat. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ma, every, every mom's over there busy doing her thing. So she's unfortunately not able to help tonight. Um... I have a guy that I got off of Facebook. I'll give his info. Hey, man, no worries. No worries. Uh, I appreciate it. I just didn't know if that was something you wanted to share with everybody or you want to keep it to yourself. Perfectly understandable, though. I appreciate it, Shiny. Um, I'd rather other people get help um, that aren't able to. So I think with my my connection at the Hydro Pump and Pokey Charles, uh, you know, I think I'm pretty good for the most part. Uh, th those guys really treat me well, so... Uh, we've been friends for a long time, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, David, i just been MIA for so long. I just want that stun fist. Uh, that was Henry, by the way. Henry has been, but Henry has a new job, everybody. So his priorities have to change because of his new job, which I, I hope everybody in the community understands. So Henry's such a cool dude, man. Uh, love him like a brother there. I just want the stun fist. You got it, Sudan. Stun fist is for you, man. I'll message him and see if he has anything. Um, I'm waiting for a big pool to... David says, I'm waiting for a big pool to send to send a cool gift. Oh, pool. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. I was like, a pool? Dude, we want a pool. Yeah, come on, come on down, David. Come on down. <laughs> um... I just messaged him and asked him if he has any more pre-orders. Hey, no worry, dude. No worry, uh, Shiny. Again, appreciate it very much, man. Um, oops, not me, MIA, as you, David, who am I? <laughs> Henry, Henry, Henry. Yeah, David. David owns David's Pokey Life. He's a great dude. One of the best members in his community. I've known him for a long time now. Um, guys, he owns his own business. He's 24-7 hardworking dude, so... Um, you can't hate on anybody who's got to, who's got to keep a life and, and work hard and try to slip in some play every now and then, but we're going to get together and have lunch, David. We're definitely going to do that, man. Collectionista MX3342. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry that I got to your comment late. I'm so sorry, dude. I know I'm really behind. That was probably sent 20 minutes ago. It is on live chat. I, I tried. I got a checklist now. I try to make sure I go through everything. Um, yeah. 
he is MIA. I just said that. Sending luck your way to get that Tyranitar that we never pulled. Yeah, I'm hoping so. We pulled another Entei Hollow, though. That's the second Entei Hollow. I'll take it, though. I love Entei. Is Entei in my top 10, everybody? Does anybody know? Uh, take a guess. If you want to guess, I don't know. In the comment section below, tell me. You don't have to do that, actually. You do not have to do that, everybody. Alrighty. Momo also has a Bambino. Yes, Momo has a brand new Bambino. Um, to go along with Toxicroats, 51 children. <laughs> ben F. Production, says Johnny, like 20 minutes ago. What are you looking for from Chilling Rains? And Chilling Rain, I will be looking for, I think I had just mentioned it before, uh, the alternate art Moltres and the gold, gold, gold Chunky Boy, the Snarlux, man. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for a lot of stuff. Chilling Rain is a overall a great set. I mean, you're talking the Galarian Slowbro, um, the Blaziken, all three birds. I mean, it's just Chilling Rain for me is going to be... Chilling Rain to me is probably like a team up in some ways. A lot of really cool cards in that set. Oh, man, that video is never going to see day, man. <laughs> I am so far behind the chat. He's responding to the video that Henry's aware of. It may never see the day, Henry. I don't know, man. I was also very disappointed in how I was doing the video, Henry. I really did not like how I was taking care of that video, man. Um, I did like the route I was going with it. Jay Avila has popped into the chat, everybody. Um, yes, Jay, it is my birthday. Um, I am 26 years old today. I'm super pumped. My brain is still dumb as, as a 10-year-old, so I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, here, here's something fun for everybody to look at. I'm going to post this later. I probably will get in a lot of trouble for this, but I'm, I don't care. I'm, I'm celebrating my old age today, everybody. So... At my old age, I can still do this. Local. This is in the backyard. Basically, my wife is showing my injury, the my, my health issue that I have. I was also talking about I, I'm getting a hip replacement in a month. That's right, everybody. I'm getting a hip replacement. That's what professional sports does to people, okay? It turns us old. <laughs> really really fast way faster than we want to turn old so so this is my fat butt with my health issues at 46 years old i shouldn't be doing it but i used to do that off the ground by the way not on a trampoline i'm way too scared to do it on the ground now though but 46 years old i decided to do a flip and i'll keep doing it for who knows how, you know, as long as I don't kill myself. <laughs> if you guys don't know, on my personal Instagram, which is Harley Shellhammer, I, I don't, um, that is my, uh, that is my acting and personal account. I don't do anything with the channel over there, everybody. Um, so, um, but if anybody wants to follow my acting career or anything that I do like that, I usually post it on there. Um, although my acting career has been pretty much nil um, this year, um, I do have a thing where I call it's called handstands from around the world. So um, everywhere we used to travel, I used to do a one-handed handstand and wave to the camera. Um, something that I used to be able to do. I still can do it actually. I just did it what a couple months ago. I did it to see if I could. Um, I can't hold myself as long anymore, but yeah. Uh, I have a thing where you can see where I've done handstands at in front of famous places, which I thought was pretty interesting. The hashtag is called, um, I think the hashtag was handstands from all around the world. I think that was the hashtag and you'll find a bunch of photos, but I didn't upload all of my photos onto it. I just, I don't, I didn't hashtag them all, but I have more than that. But, uh, yeah. Ben says he's got my back. I got to get caught up on this chat. I'm so freaking terrible. I'm the worst YouTuber on the planet. 
Um, Pogo Dan says, right, Henry. Harley, it is your birthday. Yep, I got to that one already. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Jay, for happy birthday. Yes, it's Harley's birthday today. Chris said, it says, smash that like button. Um, Jay says, yes. Henry says, he takes forever to keep up with the live chat. Uh, I say he sees this at about 1130. <laughs> it's 1110, Henry. It's 1110, and I got to your comment. Um, good to see you, says Ben to Henry. Celebrate how you want, brother. Um, always nice to see you, Ben. Pogo Dad. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who probably would not be happy to see that flip happen. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Harley. Uh, wow, amazing, Harley. Uh, David's Pokey Life. Pogo Dad says, 46 years young. That's right. With the mind of a 10-year-old, as my wife will tell you. Let's get back to pr cracking some cards, everybody. I'm so sorry. That's what people want to see. Um, but, yeah, I used to be able to do backflips. I, I, I was real big into all that stuff, man. Real, real big. The best place that I ever trampolined at was in Paris, France. In front of the Louvre Museum, they had a um, yeah, it was like a little trampoline fair. It was the weirdest thing in the world. They had professional the yellow uh, the yellow matted ones that are strung very differently that shoot you to the moon. In fact, I'd never been on one a professional one before. I was going so high that I got scared. I've never been scared in my life. I was going. I mean, it was skyrocketing me. This is also back when I weighed 175. I was still in decent shape. This was five um, years ago, I think. Yeah, this was what, 2000? It was like in 2000. Yeah. But um, yeah, I got to trampoline in front of the Louvre and the uh, the entrance, the Pyramid Entrance Museum. It was the coolest thing. I think we even have pictures of it um, somewhere. somewhere. I Believe it or not, guys, I used to vlog before anybody that you know today vlogs. Um, I have travel vlogs from Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Thailand, um, Australia, uh, all over Europe. We I have a whole bunch of videos that I would really love to start making those those and turn them into vlogs one day. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, but that was the coolest place I ever trampolined at. So, and I know a lot of people ask me how did I travel and how did I do all these things. Well, I was a failure. As a professional athlete, um, I was I would call myself a three sport athlete. I was hockey, wakeboarding, and soccer, and I failed all three. So um, it just depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, but I ended up having to get a real job. I worked for an airline for 23, 23 years officially, and it was that. That working for that airline, guys, is how I was able to travel the world, um, and that's that's how that was able to happen. So I know a lot of people always wonder; they think we're like uber rich and stuff. We're not rich. We stood by. We used to get stuck everywhere. We'd be stuck for days trying to get on a plane. Um, we 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 stayed in hostels. Uh, we didn't stay in five star hotels. You know, we we traveled very minimal. Um, we walked everywhere. I was a big proponent, yep. excuse me, of walking. I did not like. I just didn't think you could you could enjoy the city without walking. So miles and miles. we walked everywhere. Yeah, wherever we went, man, we would kill ourselves. Blisters on feet. Also, we'd get ourselves in such terrible situations. Like uh, in Barcelona, Spain, you wouldn't know this, but it's it's very hilly in Barcelona. And we would walk, we walked out like to these places and you just didn't realize how much of the hills you were walking and killing your feet and stuff. Oh God, so freaking stop. crazy, everybody. Yeah. I think we even had a fight. Didn't we fight because I was fat or something? Yeah, we had a fight, man. It was terrible. Yeah. he took us, I don't know where, and it was so We walked, we oh walked so far. I'm a huge, Back in the day, what do you have huge yes. stadium nut, okay? Wherever I travel, I have to go see the stadiums. Um, it's it's just it's probably actually one of my true passions in life is going to stadiums, and so I think we went looking for um, the Olympic Stadium in Barcelona, 
And, oh, we got a holo, a bronze on holo. This box has not been the greatest so far. Maybe maybe it, it hasn't been too bad, actually. We'll go over the pools at the end, everybody. Um, but, yeah, we went looking for the Barcelona Stadium because I also want, I wanted to see where FC Barcelona played. Uh, very hilly area, though. I will say that. We got I got super duper um, sick in Bangkok. I got really, really bad food poisoning. Knocked me out for like three days. And then on the plane, on the plane from, was it? It was Bali. It was Bali from, Australia. from Bali, Indonesia to Australia. We were going to my brother's house in Australia. Um, my wife got uber ill from eating too much pineapple it's just like hawaii they got tons of pineapple she, my wife ate everywhere. so much pineapple. And I love pineapple um she got so sick it was terrible and well, I mean, Qantas is a really good airline another really yeah she got plane. sick on the plane everybody the flight attendants i had a fever yeah growing up and those flight attendants moved us to a like more comfortable city. yeah they took care of us in Qantas. that was pretty and cool they kept coming up to me bringing me ha towels for my head and they were really nice and Steph says, welcome to Battle Styles. He is absolutely... Hey, we still got a few packs left. Still got a chance at something here, guys. We still got a chance at something. But Steph is definitely right. You guys are all just talking to... Yeah, just all chat amongst yourselves because you know I suck. Here we go. Mr. Mime. Okay, okay. Let me let me just say this. I think we've opened. Uh, I I did I did get some sleeve blisters, everybody, of battle styles. I have a video that's waiting to be edited. So we have officially opened ten. Plus, we've opened fourteen packs of battle styles before this booster box. This is the card we pulled. In those one of those boxes we opened and I just pulled it again so I'm not exactly the most happiest of campers right now okay um, this is not the most coolest card to pull but um I will take it because it is gold so big shout out David's pokey life David hopping in with the five dollar dono yo David thank you so much bro I greatly appreciate that man Thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Um, I'm I am happy because I do love anything that's gold. Actually, I hate gold in real life, but I love gold in Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So that is pretty cool. But that is the second one we have pulled. Um, that is so crazy. I've opened such little battle styles that I pulled the same gold card. So weird. But hey, you know what? It's my birthday. And we're going to take some gold, everybody. So there we go. For the birthday channel. Um, pretty pumped for that. Pretty pumped. Shiny says, I'm only missing the two gold Pokemon cards from... I'm only missing the two gold, gold Pokemon cards from this set. Are you missing this one, Shiny? Let me know if you're missing this one, bro. $10 from Toxicroak Gaming and his 51 children. Yo, Toxicroak. Thank you so much, man. Toxicroak says, happy birthday, brother. You did not have to do that, of course, Toxic. You know, we appreciate all the love, man. Um, I showed everybody earlier, Toxic. Gracias, familia. <laughs> so, says, gracias, familia. Um, I did show everybody the photo earlier that we went and got ice cream, Toxic. We did it. So, even though we're not going to see any of that Super Chat money for like two months, we went out and got the money. <laughs> Age of Slash. There we go. We did get the uh, the ice cream though. So, thank you so much, Toxico, for the ice cream. We greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you for that $10, man. Thank you for the birthday love, everybody. Um, but, Shiny, let me know, dude. Let me know if that is a gold card you need, brother. Um, definitely don't mind helping you out on that. 
Toxic uh, Small says, oh, I love gold in RL. Send me all your RL gold. I will take it off you. <laughs> oh, no, you've pulled the expert. Okay, okay, you got it. All right, all right. Are you talking about, like, the Houndoom shot? I guess the Houndoom one? It's funny because I, I don't really care too much about pulling the Houndoom. I will take the Houndoom, but it, it's not, like, a huge thing for me to pull. Um, but I would love to definitely pull it, though. Small opening says, hands off, Nicole. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Sour Cream Donuts. Probably my favorite name in the in this live. I'm sorry, everybody, but that is definitely the best name in here. Good. Epic Tube Fam. Happy birthday, Harley. Love the content. Thank you so much, Sour Cream. Love it. Sour Cream Donuts are good. Yes. Well, I don't know. I've never had a Sour Cream Donut, but... I love the name. I think the name is freaking awesome. So no alternate art, you know, probably. Um, David says have to go to sleep. Been up all day. Has been a great night. David, dude, thank you so much from the heart, man. We definitely have to get together and go to La Parillas, man. Or if La you know, La Parillas, La Paria. I'm so sorry, man. But or whatever choice you want to go to. If we got to come up to you, dude, we'll drive up to you. You know you're not that far from us, so we'll definitely hook up, man. JD State says, um, we have the gold dash hound. Yes. The gold dash hound. Once again, happy birthday, bro. Thank you so much, David. Have a good night, man. Appreciate it again. Bacon wrap donuts are fire. <coughs> La Paria. La Paria is very good. I get the... Uh, no shell taco loco. I don't eat nothing spicy. So, yeah. I just get the taco loco, but without the shell. At least my, my keto self gets that. But I have not been keto for a while now, guys. So, I need to get back on that hype. I got a cough for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Rona. Rona. Here we go. Let me hit the button, make sure. All right. So, you know, here's here's a uh, extra spicy for me, an extra spicy. Listen, um, that's a video we have to do. Is the what, stuff that Henry sent us. We have to do a video with the spicy stuff. Um, what do you guys think about EV Heroes? Other than being upset that you didn't get it, if if you didn't get it. What do you think about the cards in that EV Hero set? Mind blowing. Toxic Croak says, "Wait, Taco Loco without the shell? Is that <laughs> even possible?" Yes, they will give me the Taco Loco. Oh, we got a uh, Hollow Steelix. Hollow Steelix. They will give you the Taco Loco. They just put it in a bowl without the shell. So I got the shell the last time we went, though, guys. I did get the shell. So, it just depends. When I'm on keto, when I'm doing keto hardcore, um, I don't get the shell. But I haven't been on keto for a few months now. Really, I haven't been. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, Toxic Coke says, "Yo, Henry the Goat. Henry is the goat. Um, the Eevee Hero set looks awesome from Grumpy Charlotte. Grumpy, I I might." If, if 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 things pan out in the next month like we're hoping they are um i may go ahead and dip in into the waters and pick up a booster box or two even though i think they're extremely overpriced right now um i may do it however i do think i do think the ev heroes is going to be in the 25th anniversary set they have yet to announce I really do. <laughs> Yo, we got Bruno. We got Bruno. Nice. Nice. I would have preferred Cheryl, but I'll take a Bruno, everybody. I do collect trainer cards. Um, I am a big collector of trainer cards. So, And I've been, a, a, by the way, I've been a collector of trainer cards long before uh, the hype, everybody. So... Pretty pumped about that. Some fist bump energy for everybody. Yeah. 
I really was hoping I was going to get Cheryl. Um, I also would have to say that's going to completely kill my chances for the alternate art Tyranitar. So that's cool, man. It happens. It's all right. I'm okay with it. But I think officially this box is fire. That has put this box into the fire category, everybody. Um, Steph, I, I don't think this is a, a crappy box anymore. I think we're officially uh, moved out of the crappy battle styles box into the fire one. So, yeah. Shiny says, jalapenos and spicy stuff kickstart your metabolism in high gear. Yeah, I uh, I use paprika. I use paprika um, when I'm hardcore keto on keto. Yeah, I get that going. Trevin Kern says, happy birthday. Yo, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, ben says, Nicole, you're too much. Shiny goggles. I'm I'm not I'm not paying for overpriced box. I know, dude. I know, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens on that EV Hero stuff. We'll have some. The general of determination. Yo, yo, did that name just kick out? Did it just kick out? Our 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 sour cream donuts. The general dude, that name is so sick, man. Hey, how's everyone doing this this motivating, positive and determined Friday night? Absolutely correct. The general of determination. Yo, that name is God. I think that beats out sour cream donuts, man. That is one of the most epic names. The, the that just sounds powerful. I love it. Um, it sounds motivating and positive and determining. I like it. It's going well, man. It's going well. Um, cool Squirtle Gaming says, I hope not. Toxicro says, I'm skipping Chilling Rain for... <laughs> Dude, don't come, in my, don't come into my lives and be trolling us like that, Toxic. Come on now. I mean, I, I'm going to love Evolutionary uh, ev uh, Evolving Skies cuz I'm a huge Rayquaza fan. But but don't be don't be doing that to us, man. Come on, come on. Um Nicole says laugh out loud thanks. Cool Squirtle says I think EV Heroes will be in Evolving Skies. I don't know. I don't know. Even though I did the video last night and we did see a Rayquaza in the background of one of the the cards. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really think it's going to be more 25th anniversary. Um, general of Determ... The General of Determination. I got to give it some oomph, you know. Uh, and remember, the sky is not the limit. It's just our starting point. Oh, man. That is some epic, epic thoughts. By hand, uh, the General Determination. Grumpy Charger says, I'm torn. Because I think the Evolving Skies might have the evolutions. I, I don't know, man. They do give the clue with that Rayquaza, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't see it. Um, let me get this out of the way. And we got nothing in that one. Activate the camera so it doesn't turn off on me. All right. Uh, hard to say. Some box have two full arts. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I set fire in the right side oh you saw fire in the right side yeah the right side was where it was at totally where it was at Pogodes says sorry I was in a tense match <laughs> it's alright dude sour cream says eh maybe <laughs> but does it sound delicious that it does not that does not um Uh, David, David, I thought you were going to bed, bro. <laughs> Chile Serrano. Good night, y'all. Yes, good night, David. Have a good one, man. Guys, this is it, everyone. Last pack of Battle Styles. This is the only booster that we have opened. You know, in the two, in the two plus years we've been opening Pokemon in the channel, um, we've been pretty dedicated to every set for the most part we have. This is the first set we really kind of skipped out on. Uh, not exactly by choice, but, you know, it, it happens. I'm very thankful that I was able to open some battle styles. Again, big shout out to our good friend, Nightmare Pokemon, everybody. If you guys would, please show Nightmare some love. 
He's got a YouTube channel. Um, it is really good, actually. I personally know he's upgrading everything he has. Uh, he's really putting a lot of investment into making his channel really good. Uh, let's help him get up there. He announced his giveaway on Instagram. It's pretty crazy, everyone. Uh, it would be great if you go support him. Uh, epic, epic, epic giveaway. Like, really big. So, pretty pretty pumped for that giveaway. Um, I, I have to talk to him still about some things. I might be a part of the giveaway. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. Here, ooh, we got a hollow. So, we ended on a hollow, everybody. So, we ended with some last pack magic. Just the way we started this box off with some first pack magic so here is the final code card for you right there um not by choice uh, uh general determination sour cream donuts sounds like something you get a free sample in a flea market tenor. <laughs> oh man here we go here we go here we go um let's get 60 plus likes on this video that would be amazing if we get 60 plus likes, I don't know if we're going to, but holy cow, if we can get 20 likes on the video. I can't see what we have because I'm not even looking at stuff. I honestly don't look at any of that stuff, guys. I don't look at how many people are streaming. I don't look at what the likes are. I'm just here having a good time with everybody. Um, and that's what really matters to me most. Um, so yeah. Pogo Dad says, not by choice, I bet. <laughs> T minus 30 minutes left of the B day. Yes. Yes, we're getting we're, we're getting down to the end of it. Real quickly before I pop into these two right here, everybody. Um, let's take a look what this box gave us. So we got a hollow. We got this really epic Bruno trainer. So again, I am a trainer collector. I have a lot of trainers um, going back. So very pumped to add that to the trainer collection. Again, I really would have liked to have been Cheryl, but that's not how it works. We got a hollow. <clears throat> We pulled some gold, got some gold tonight. So we'll put that in the big hitter category. Again, another hollow. That Ente, man. That, I really, really like that Ente. I think that's some really nice artwork for that Ente. Um, we did pull the single strike Urshifu V. Another hollow, Aegislash. Our only VMAX was the Corviknight VMAX. So, again, that is some Komiya artwork there, according to Sudan. There's our Houndoom Hollow, not gold. Pulled a lot of hollows in this box, everybody. This box actually turned into pretty fire. Luxray Hollow, we got the Kingdra Hollow. Wow, we got a lot of hollows. Necrozma V. Oh, gotta move this out of the way, because I'm dropping stuff. And just for everybody that knows, I do sleeve everything up. These all get sleeves. Um, I take very good care of my cards. I don't mess around with that. So there's our other hollow. And then there was our first pack magic. Um, so from the big hitter category, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. So we got six of the big hitters, which technically I hear that's not good. That's pretty much a failure. On average, is usually eight uh, for a lot of the sets and stuff. I only got six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, did I get it right? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. So we got nine hollows. Fifteen hitter box, though. Got technically, this was a fifteen hit box because hollows are not a guarantee. So they are a hit. So technically a 15 hitter box. At the end of the day, that's what it was, everyone. Um, so I'm happy. I, I truly am happy with this. Very thankful for that. Here comes the big question, everybody. What do you want to see first? Do you want to see Charizard Evolutions or Chunk of Chew Vivid Voltage get open? You tell me. I'm going to catch up in comments. Um... Cool Squirtle says 34. Ben F says, where are my 50 plus likes on this video? Oh, oh, 34 likes. Oh, that's pretty freaking epic, dude. Pretty epic. The general of determination and always keep those spiritual flags of motivation. 
determination, and positivity, tipping on my father's pearly gates. There you go. That's the best I can do, man. That's the best I can do. Sour cream donut is like a glazed donut, but it's on steroids. Dunkin' Donuts carries them. Nice. Sour and donut just don't mix. I will agree. I can't quite probably put those two together. But to be honest with you, I only eat chocolate. Nothing else. So, yeah. Dang. Lots of hollows, but a great box overall. Steroids and sour with donuts sound like a Pepto-Bismo moment. Probably is. <laughs> <clears throat> six is average <clears throat> six is average for battle styles okay okay that's pretty crappy because eight i think eight is the average for most previous sets but uh we already knew battle styles was rough and that's why you can get it for under a hundred dollars our family says Yeek. um pogoda says at least there was a secret rare yes i'm very thankful for the secret rare valid point but they are not sour at all. Evo for the last. Okay, so Evo, open Evo last. No, it looks like everybody wants me to open Evo, Evo up first. Vivid, then go with the Zard. Vivid last. Evo, Charizard, Vivid. Thank you, says the general determination. Uh, Zard is king. Who is Zard, by the way? Um, all right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're going with the vivid, guys. I'm 46, year old, 46 years old today, and uh, I just did eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What the heck is going on? I'm very surprised that Epic Ethan has not popped into the stream. Is Isabella still awake? Everybody's sleeping. Oh, everybody has passed out. You are here on the midnight hour with Epic Tube HD. When the kids go to sleep. Tonight, we're going to be discussing some vivid voltage. Some ASMR moments. <laughs> I watched our guy Minuteman Ren's AMSR video today. And uh, Epic Mom was watching it with us. And uh, she had no idea that people do ASMR Pokemon videos. She was like, what? I was like, yeah. So we watched Minuteman Ren's ASMR video together. It was pretty funny. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Mm -hmm. oh, what is that? <laughs> yeah right so uh kids do not do kids do not do minimum minimumono minimumo <laughs> no. epic two this is epic tube after dark everyone in tonight's episode we're going to be delving into the world of vivid voltage and its dirty secrets what does it hold? Let's find out. I can't remember Vivid Voltage. Um, I think Vivid Voltage, the code card tells you what you get as well. So we probably will not do the card trick for Vivid Voltage, everybody. Here we go. Oui. Un petit peu à la française. Faire aussi de donner du arbre à Chua Vidal Crémé. This bump energy, Gavashila, Suelo, League Staff, and we got nothing in that one. Um, so that was nothing. What was the, uh, it was out creamy. It was some out creamy. Put that off to the side. Here we go. Je parle le peau en français. Here we go with another episode. Of Epitube HD after dark. In tonight's episode, we're going to delve deeper into the land of Eevee. 
you can see the beautiful streaking shots of comets. Aegis slash VMAX. There we go. We got a hit. We got a hit. It's not Chunkachu, but we will take it, everybody. Really don't like how I have the lighting on this one. You just can't. It's just not really right on the, uh, the cards. Don't like that. All right. Uh, Pogo Dad says cake. There is your TCGO code card, everybody. I wonder if I should pull this light up. Nah, I'm not going to deal with it. If I pull this one more. Let's see if this one does anything. But this light gets so hot, though. That's something I don't like about that light. Let's see if this light shines some light on the cards. Yeah, I think the Aegis Slash artwork on the VMAX is just absolutely sick. The one thing I, I'm not a big fan of is the, uh, what is it, C, C Works? So yeah, CG Works and SB Graphics, SB Band Graphics. I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, uh, of the CGI artworks, but they did do a pretty good job with this, and they did do a pretty good job in some of the EV Heroes cards that are going to be coming out. Oh, yeah. Much better. There we go. We got some light on the cards. Shine that light down on me. I don't sing for anything. And it's another non-hollow. There we go with some redeem action, everybody. Nice. Cool hits, everyone. Cool runnings, man. Cool runnings. Do you guys hear the music at all? I can't tell if it's um how loud it is. I know for me on the audio thing here, it's it's not that high. I'll turn up a little bit more, see if that makes any difference. Pikachu inbound. I hope so. That would be pretty cool. Let's pull that chunk of chew, everybody. Here we go. With some Whismer action. Execute. Woobat, <clears throat> the Ancy, and we got the Orbital V, which is pretty funny because in the last live we did last week, um, one of the gifts that we were given from Nightmare Pokemon was the Orbital V box. So, yeah, uh, pulling another Orbital V. There we go. We'll take it. We'll take it. I love taking hits, man. I love taking the hits. Give me them hits, man. Give me them hits. Let's get them hits. Pogo Dad says barely. Err. Uh, hear no music. It's a UFO. You guys don't hear music? I mean, I hear music. You guys don't hear anything? I. This is the same thing I had earlier. I was saying that I think it's gonna. It gives a um. It gives a bad uh, echo. But you guys said you didn't hear any echo, so. Oh, oh, the, it, yeah. Sorry, Orbital V is the is the spaceship. That's right. That's right. On that one, here we go. Wooper. I'm multitasking. I can't hear a thing. That's perfectly fine, Ben. Here we go. We got some hollow action with the Magnera, Magirnia. Magirnia. What's up? Who's that? Nasser. Oh, Nasser? Why ain't Nasser in the stream? Yeah. Giving me some love, man. Check out the stream, man. Epic Hayden is here, guys. Again, congratulations. Epic Hayden is uh, going to high school, everyone. Oh, my feet. You, how many are you open? Uh, we opened a, a booster box. You opened a booster? Yeah. You getting anything good? I mean, do you want to see? Here. Yeah. Oh, you, sorry. Um, also, possibility, um, Hayden Soccer Club, man. He might, uh, he might be getting moved up, guys. Might be getting moved up. I don't want to say it officially until it actually happens, but, uh, we had some good words this week, um, for the end of the season. So, um, we'll see what happens. Yo, got a Drapion V. This is a pretty good ETB so far, everybody. Pretty good ETV. Oh, did you get um? Is this like a special one? Cause it has like the. Yeah, it's a rapid strike. 
Yeah. What is that? You have to learn the game mechanics of it. It's totally different game mechanics. Huh. So I, I'm not. I haven't looked into it, so I don't. I don't know what the rapid strike and single strike mechanics do exactly. Like how 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 they go in the game, but. Um, yeah, we got two more packs, and we're going to the Charizard box, everybody. Do you want to open anything? You're cool. Nice. Well, I have to do stuff. So. Okay, so good to do your stuff. Yeah, good to do your stuff. <clears throat> hey, Ben, how you been? Shiny Goggles says. That went way over your head and under your wig. That's right. It did. The Orbital V. All good, Shiny. Just been very busy. Pogo says, heck yeah, moving on up. Congratulations, Hayden. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, Hayden, H-Y-D-E-N. And Muzdale is a thing. We got hashtag Stunfisk is in the house. Shout out Sudan segment. Hashtag Stunfisk. Let me make sure I activate the camera so it shut off on me. So as we do, we send all of our Stunfisk get sent to a sanctuary on the Sudan segment farm where they live out a long and prosperous life. So if you have any Sudan, if you have any uh, um, Stunfisk that you would like to depart and save from this planet, please send them to Sudan segment. He will gladly take them all in. Hashtag Sudan. Uh, <laughs> I screwed that one up. Hashtag Stungfisk Army, everybody. There we go. We got Voltorb. We got some coding energy. We got a Metagross. Another fist bump energy. And Delmize with the Rocky Helmet and an Alistair. So that was it from that. Um, that vivid, bolst, vivid voltage ETB, and uh, just think, everybody, I was hanging on to this sucker, and it gave us a uh, uh, nah, hits. What is that? Meh, M E H gave us some M E H hits, everybody. Um, yeah, that you know, it was a four hitter box, which for an, an elite trainer box. That's that's actually really good because elite trainer boxes usually stink. I've opened more elite trainer boxes than I have booster boxes, and uh, but we're gonna take that. All right, everybody, the time has come. This is my birthday present to myself because uh, I believe these are freaking super expensive. Um, hold on here, I don't want to do that while I'm here. Let me take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at eBay real fast, everybody. Again, if you have not subscribed to Cardboard Addicts Podcast, from if you would po do that for me as a favor, um, please follow our podcast. I think we really do have something special going on. And uh, uh, I, I'm very happy that I was asked to be a part of it. Um, I've really been saying no to a lot of people um, I've been asked to be a part of a lot of things, uh, over the past six months and I just don't want to disappoint people. Um, uh, my, my life is e extremely chaotic right now. Uh, you know, we, we have three kids, the grandkids, everything that's going on. Um, it, it's just hard to do anything. And when I accepted, you know, uh, the invitation to be part of that podcast, I was very, I'm very thankful and honored. I was asked to be a part of it. And I'm very thankful and honored. I've had other people ask me to be a part of their projects, um, whether that's podcasting, um, discords, whatever the case may be. Uh-oh, is my GoPro overheating? Uh-oh, GoPro might be overheating, guys. Um, let me give it a rest for a second here before we oh, we go to that, all right? I'm going to give the GoPro just a, a minute rest, everybody. Um, again, I just want to I, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you out there who have asked me to um, be a part of, of your stuff. And I do, again, I do apologize. I was not able to to maybe be a part of some things. Again, it's just so hard, man. The, the schedule's so crazy. Um, yeah, there it goes. But the, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing my best to be a part of the podcast. And um, if you don't know, 
uh, I did create the intro opening, um, and, and I helped create the intro video, and I'm very proud of that. It took me a very long time to make, and um, I had to do all of that uh, essentially by hand, so I didn't use any animation software because it's one it's very expensive animation software and two it's very difficult to do uh and so i i made all those little animations happen uh in a different way and it just it took a while to do it took some hit and miss but i'm very proud of it so again i'm very proud of being a part of po uh cardboard addicts podcast so if you guys would please make sure you subscribe to it check it out Again, if you can't watch the YouTube version, we are on Spotify. We are on Anchor. We are on iTunes. We're on Google Podcast. We're on a whole bunch of platforms. Everywhere. I was really surprised. Um, we've been picked up. Excuse me. We've been picked up already by several other platforms. So I'm very pumped about it. And again, our, st our stats were already like way above what we ever expected so we've got some great things planned for the future we're going to have some really cool epic openings as well at some point it's not going to be something that we do all the time but um we are trying we are i we're currently working with um um a, a creator of a tcg and uh, we'll see how that goes uh we have some other stuff happening so yeah very pumped and excited for uh carboy podcast and of course a big shout out to all you content creators out there because so many of you are really freaking awesome content creators, man. And uh, I, I can't shout you guys out enough. Truly, I can't. You guys, um, I appreciate everything you do. Again, I, I can't always shout out everybody. Um, I won't always shout out everybody. I get a lot of people ask me to do that. those things. If, if I don't... If I can't really believe in your content enough to shout it out, I mean, it doesn't mean that your content's bad. It might not be up my alley. Just remember, um, when you shout out somebody's name, a business, whatever it is, your name is on the line. So I take what I say very seriously, um, you know, and because I'm in the acting world, I also have to be very careful about, you know, things I support um, and, and, and things like that. So if I don't support you, don't take it as a negative. It doesn't mean I don't watch your stuff, okay? I watch so many people's content. Just today on Discord, um, and I am buying time here, everybody, while the GoPro uh, cools down a bit. I watched today four new content creators off Discord, um, you know? And I always try to go in and watch new people. I do it all the time. So, um, you know, I I'm happy to help the community out when I can. Um, but you know, I can't always, everybody's request, man, you, you'd be surprised. We get a lot of DMS actually, which is really strange when our channel just doesn't seem to be doing that well right now. I, I don't get it, but Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll, you know, it's nice, man. It's nice to be part of the community. It's that's really at the end of the day. All right, let's plug this puppy back in because I really want to open this box. I really, really want to open this box. I can tell you the day I got this box. Um, it was the day that I did the Ghost Pepper video. That was the day it arrived uh, when I ordered it. Again, before anybody gave a crap about Evolutions, I was already opening Evolutions like a madman. I was open, We were opening Evolutions way before that. We were opening up Evolutions in 2016. Um, the kids were, so pretty pumped. Anyways, sorry about the long rants, everybody. I just was trying to buy time while uh, the, the GoPro cooled down. <laughs> Grumpy says, that's not a bad ETB overall. Um, I feel like you guys made some magic on the podcast. Come on, GoPro. Start up for me. Yeah, I do too, uh, Pogo Dad. I do too. I really think, I really think we did really well with the podcast. I think we can, I think we can improve and get better. Actually, so I'm looking forward to that. We don't have graphics all over our screen, simply because we are five people taking up the whole screen. 
So you're not going to see a graphic, a cool looking graphic, you know, so that, which I really do appreciate that stuff. It's just we take up the whole screen. So it makes it difficult. All right, guys, let's see here. Pokemon Evolutions Elite Trainer Box. Wow. So this box, this is basically a $250 product right now. 250 bucks. But you know what? I don't care about that stuff. Well, I do care about that stuff. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not that naive, guys. But uh um let's switch the camera over finally. Here we go. Make sure this is good. All right. $250 Charizard ETB. Like I said, I don't care too much about that stuff. Well, I do care because I do I do occasionally sell some things. But uh, I'm not like that uh, about most stuff. Um, only my base box, I'm like that. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't pay $250 for this. I paid $50 for this. Yeah, this was before the hype, and I paid 50 bucks. And it's actually only a $40 box. Um, so I'm pretty pumped to be opening this. This is the first one that I can recall opening. I think the boys opened one back in 2016. Um, they opened these up. So I definitely want to keep this. I'm going to open this up because there is some cool stuff. Let's make sure we take our time. I don't know how many of you out there have seen this or have actually opened one yet. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now on the inside, we got the really beautiful artwork. Let's see if we can do this without ruining that artwork. Here we go. Let's get some a a M ASMR action in here. Can you hear it? <laughs> I don't know how well that works. So let's switch. Let's go to the full camera, guys. Let's go to the full camera, everyone. Um, there we go. All right. So here we are. That's the artwork on the back. That is so awesome. I really, really like that. This will definitely go into the collection of stuff here that we have. Epic Tube is shooting for the stars. Thanks. Uh, it also might be due because I do editing and I'm basic at best. <laughs> Grumpy. Um, did I, what did I say? That's the podcast channel link. Oh, the podcast channel link. Okay, he put it up. Um... What happened here? Oh, okay. I guess I missed the chat here. What what was going on here? Uh, let me go back here. Donate to the Stunfisk Fund. Okay. Out of 10 Barstool Sports Pizza Scale, how would you rate this box? Sour cream? Um, I have to give it... I have to give it a 5. I have to get a 5. I don't give 10s out. Just like them. Just, j just like my boy does. I don't give 10s out. So, I'd give it a 5. Yeah, one a seven, one an eight. Give it a five. Um, man, you've been a huge piece of the podcast. Put in so many man hours and such. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, Grumpy. Yes, please come check out our podcast and give us some feedback on anything you think we can do better. What do you think? The general determination. Oh man, did did something happen that I didn't see? That sucks. Uh, is the podcast channel link somewhere? Yes, we posted the link. Sorry, butter, gin sorry, butter gingers, butter. Sorry, butter fingers, butter fingers. That's the podcast channel link, everyone. There you go. Henry is probably the the best guy, man. I love that dude. Um, thank you for so much for um, give, posting the link, man. This this is the link to the podcast. It's shooting for the stars. A hey, grumpy charger says it also might be because uh, due to the editing. Yes, Grumpy has edited the first video. He did a great job, man. You did a great job on that video, Grumpy. Um, I' gonna go have some cereal from Epic Tube HD in five minutes. Yeah, we sent him a bunch of cereal, guys. Pogo Dad says, "Let's freaking get to it! Smash that like button, Henry. Be well, brother. 
Uh, kids finish the Pikachu cereal super fast. We might have to send you some more, man. We have to send you some more. Um, kids, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, only one I appreciate. O only I appreciate. You all prefer the back light now or the green light? Only Haunted House feel. Wait, what do we got? How's it looking? I set it to random earlier, Henry. There. Oh, yeah, it is random. I don't know. Probably nobody even pays attention. Are they? Is anybody paying attention to that? <laughs> All right. Again, we showed this off. Here we go. We're about to open. Well, we already opened the two hundred and fifty dollar Charizard Evolution box. So, as a Charizard collector, this just gives me goosebumps. Everybody. Oh man. This gives me goosebumps. Give me. Oh, it smells like it. Smells like a Chazad. There we go. This is this is so freaking cool. I I don't I don't know if I've ever seen these seen this before personally personally. I've watched other people's channel of uh, videos of course, but I mean in person, it's just so different. There's our goal. You'd like to pull the original Charizard or the full art. I would love to get either of those. Again, I'm a big time Charizard collector. I am a big collector of all things evolutions. I'm really big on that. All right, here we go. Next item is the box. Now, I really did not like how they used to do these boxes. Um, so strange. I love this evolutions though. There's the inside. Look how the packs are all strewn about. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get the light in here a little better. There we go. See inside the box, everyone? What we get? Here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. The sleeves. Oh, I'm so pumped for these. Oh, such gorgeous sleeves. I th These are my, like, I collect sleeves as well. I, I collect everything, guys. I just collect everything. Here we go. We got a bunch of packs. I think we're supposed to have 10. I think. Let's take a look here. Um, what else did we get in the box? We've got our... Charizard dividers. This is pretty cool. Box is this is the Evolutions Charizard box. It's a right now it sells for like 250. Yeah, very expensive box we're opening. It shouldn't be worth that much. I did an entire video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out in our in our our channel. XY evolutions how and and how the the breakdown that I did so um, Yeah, I, I definitely think that this got way out of control way too fast So here we go put that in the background for some luck. So we got some dice the XY dice with the game pieces There is our old school look at that man. It comes with the uh, the tab on it still to pull that off that is old school right there. Let me make sure I do this again. With the, the fairy energy in the front, I will leave this sealed because of that fairy energy. All right. So let's put this out to the side. How many packs? Did we, did we only get eight packs in here? One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only get eight packs. That's it. Eight packs. So... <clears throat> Here we go with our eight packs of evolutions. Wow. I can't believe it's that much money. That is so crazy. Um, here we go. Uh, let me give a quick look at the chat again before I get going here because you guys know how I am with that. Um, you can see the lamp. I got the lamp. Well, no, you can't see it actually in the, uh, the smaller thing. Um, need more cookies? Let me know. Okay, we'll chat later. Uh, <laughs> Epic mom and her cookies. Did I see old NES in the back? Yes, yes, that is an NES. 
So, there's some cereal. Cereal. These are my sealed boxes of cereal. Here's the NES. I actually have a completely mint one. Uh, basically brand new in the box still. At SNES, as well as a super SNES. So I was going to uh, try and refurbish this one. It's a little getting a little old, a little stained. Um, I don't know yet. I've watched many videos on how to do it. Pretty, pretty simple. Not too terrible to do. So, all right, everybody, here we go. Breaking in to the XY packs. Let me get, I need my water for this one. All right. Bam. Some Charizard artwork. Here we go. It's, oh, it's already too late. I already opened it, so. <laughs> Again, uh, I don't remember in the XY era about the if the code card will we'll find out here. So I'm just going to go straight into it, everybody. I'm just going to go straight into this. Um, make sure I got that light showing here. There we go. Starting off with a Ponita. I paid 500 for for four booster boxes of Evo, and now one booster box get, goes for a thousand. Yeah. Hey, I had an entire case plus two Evos the month before they went insane, and I opened everything up, even my personal uh, my personal collection one uh, that I put away. I couldn't I couldn't help myself. I just opened it. I was so mad at myself. Here we go. We got a Tangela. We got a Weedle. Some Sand True action. We got a Gasly. That's a big hit right there. Reverse Hollow Mewtwo. Yo! Ho -ho, there we go. The Full Art Mega Blastoise EX. This is so nice. Wow. And it is a five band graphics. That's the funny thing too. Yo, let's take a look at this card. Um, for those that like to know about centering and, and the condition of the card, it is off center. It's thin over here and it's thicker over here. The top and the bottom are, about, are pretty good though. Um, here you go. You can see it really well here. Thin, thick, it's good here. But overall, the card looks in really, really nice condition. Very nice. Looks really, really good. Cat, you cannot come up here. I know you want to go to sleep. He, this is where he, the, the one of the cats likes to go to sleep, right here on the desk. You cannot come up here right now, buddy. Okay? I'm sorry. You can't. You can't. Don't come up here. Big hitter, guys. Pumped for that one but that probably probably means no charizard though but blastoise top 10 pokemon guys top 10 pokemon so there we go for me for me we got the venusaur spirit artwork on magmar and there's our code so we do know that that's a hitter right there here we i'm so pumped on that first hit Yo, nice. I uh, woohoo, nice Mega Blastoise. Uh, we talked about before. Evo doesn't even have enough cards. Evo making that one thousand value. Let's go. Awesome hit. That's one great start to the ETB, right, Jay? Wow, that that was some first pack magic all the way. Um, Charme Mercado. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you for joining the live. Hopefully you enjoy Pokemon openings and talking all kinds of other random stuff. <laughs> I was trying to open this a little nicer, but it didn't happen, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go with some Magikarp. 
Um, you are in the cat's way. I am, Henry. I am. This is, He wants to go to sleep right now, and this is where he goes to sleep every night when I'm on the computer, and he hugs my arm so I can't do any work. He always does that. Everyone, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for Epic Tube HD. Yo, Jim, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. And uh, check out Jim's channel, guys. He um, he just did something really crazy tonight. Uh, and I think it's a first. I don't think I've seen any other videos what he did tonight. All 151 first Pokemon voices and he actually does a really really good job i mean like he does a really good job with them guys so give that a look man give that a look jim if you want you're welcome to drop that link in the in the uh in the chat man again i've kind of been pushing him to uh he you know to do the voices thing because he, he is really good with doing the voices and um i think this was a yo we got a hollow Two for two. Zapdos. Dude, that is beautiful looking. Dude, that looks really nice. Again, off center. It is off center, everybody. Um, so it's not a perfect, perfect card. The back. Oh, no. The back's got like, it's got that curled lip thing going on. I don't know if that's taken off as a point. See it right, oh, right there. I don't know if that's taken off as a point by any of the grading card companies. Um, but it has that lip. But otherwise, uh, it's got it down here too. All four corners are jacked. All four corners, guys, are jacked on this card. They're all like messed up. That's so sad. It's all right. It'll go in the binder. I'm perfectly happy with it. That'll go in the binder. So... I'm happy to have Zapdos join the join the Binder crowd. Um, uh, Magic Carp, Magic Carp. Oh, thanks, Harley. My throat hurts just watching him make the voice. <laughs> but he did a great job. He did, man. He really did do a good job. I, I'm being complete, 100% honest. You did a fantastic job there. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Blastoise Spirit Link. Wow, we got some Spirit Links in the house there. Again, Another code card there. Two for two, everybody. Evolutions. Pogo Dad says, "Team Instinct, baby." Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, what, what am I? I don't even know. That's how bad I am. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> what am I? Let's take a look here, everybody. Valor. I'm Valor, and I did not get to it yet. So. I just, I did remember. I am Valor. I'm all about that fire. See? All about that fire. I don't know. Let me see here. See my, everyone wants to see my stats, Pokemon Go. I don't know. Does that matter to anybody? I don't even really play anymore. I'm just, I'm a casual player now, everyone. I'm just a casual. Yeah, it's it's too much. Takes too much time up, too much time. <laughs> oh yeah, Jim. Remember to add your end screens. Sour cream. Let's go, Zard. That's right, man. Let's get that Zard. Uh, thanks, Shiny and Henry. Appreciate this whole community. Rainbow, what you doing over there? Eat that. What? What? Rainbow is so mad at me. He wants to go to sleep. <laughs> He's like, can you finish this up? We got Volpix. What do you want? Come here. Come here, puppy. Hold on. Let me move this. Come here, puppy. Come on. Come on. Let's say hi to everybody. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, you farted. Oh, the cat farted. Woo! <laughs> Holy cow, Rainbow. Oh, did you poop your kitty pants? Dude, that's terrible. Do you have an upset stomach? Holy cow, guys. Oh, Rainbow. 
You couldn't do that somewhere else? Holy cow, that stinks. And it's lingering. It's lingering, lingering, lingering. There's our Pikachu. Woo! Rainbow. All right, nothing in that pack. So that pack did not give us anything, everybody. Rainbow, you want to come say hi to everyone? Come here, Rainbow. Come on. Come on. Say hi. Rainbow, look. Look up. Say hi, Ray. Hi, everybody. Rainbow. Rainbow's a boy, by the way. This was Isabella's cat, and that's the name she picked. There you go. Kids, man. Kids. <laughs> Rainbow. Rainbow fart bombed me, everyone. Rainbow fart bombed me. Disgusting. Here we go. Next pack. We got some star you action. We got a dodo. We got a weedle. We got the machop. Another Pikachu. We got a break. Machamp. Great. All I can think now is Jim in his video doing the Machamp voice. <laughs> It's a beautiful card, though. It really is. It is a cool card. And this is the, the Machamp that I... I mean, this is the break that I do like. It's the Machamp one. So, very... This box so far, everyone. This box has been really good so far. There is your code. See, even though we got a break, it was a green code card. Um, but still, you know... It's it's very predictable still, so I, I don't want to show the code card um, just because of that. We still got a few packs left. I'm really dragging this out, everyone. I'm sorry. This is the birthday stream. Epic Tube HD, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Especially to all my fellow content creator friends for supporting our channel and uh, keeping us motivated. Um, we greatly appreciate it. It is now 12.17 a.m. here on the East Coast. It's getting late. We're going to be wrapping it up here soon. That looks like it's faded. That polywad looks very faded. I'm pretty sure that blue is supposed to be uh, way darker. I'm going to have to check that out. And we got Farfetch'd. I'm going to put this in the back. Something tells me that's faded. I don't know. This be the perfect set to go off voices. Yeah, pretty much. Um, FYI, I just uploaded the Marnie Box Toxicro Gaming one. Should publish it by Monday or Sunday. Yo, we got the Charizard Spirit Lake, everyone. Does that hold something good for us? We're going to put that in the back. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> so that'll be ready by Monday or Sunday. All right, it's 12 o'clock on a Friday night, everybody. I'm sure there's a lot of people at the Dallas Card Show this weekend. Uh, obviously did not go to it. Um, I'm not really, I wouldn't mind going to a card show. We actually discussed it, but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of going to those things just because they're so overpriced. Um, you know, it's a lot of money to go to those card shows, especially if you have to travel to them. They're not local. Uh, just all depends, I suppose. We got a bit drill. We got Immacuni's Du Duo. That is a secret rare, guy. That is a secret rare, everyone. So we did get a hit in that pack. <clears throat> With a Metapod, Metapod. There you go, Jim. Did a Metapod for you. There's a Pidget Spirit Link. Um, hashtag Zard Squad. That is absolutely right, Sour Cream. Hashtag Zard Squad. We got two packs remaining, everyone. I Just unbelievable. I'm so happy I got to pull that, uh, that Blasty. That Blasty there. Those spirit links are cool, but too bad they not worth any. Yeah, they're not worth anything. Um, probably never will be. They're they're a dime a dozen. 
They're a dime a dozen. The Spirit Links, yeah, I mean, there's no rarity in those at all. So here we go. Second to last pack. But yes, you're right. Love them. I definitely love them. Voltorb. Yo, we got some fairy energy. That's actually a hit. That's a hit. Because, of course, bye bye fairy energy. Well, bye bye fairy. Although they still give fairy energies. So, I mean, they have to until fairy, fairy is completely out of the game. So, here we go. <laughs> we got another reverse hollow Mewtwo. We will absolutely take that. And we got a hollow, everybody, Magneton. This is actually, if you look it up, a very, very difficult card to grade um, from Evolutions because of the hollow in it. It's really difficult to grade. I was really shocked to see the pop report on this. Um, they normally have a lot of print lines. Like I already see a huge print line here going vertical. Um, but yeah, you, you typically see a lot of print lines on these cards. So very difficult to grade. But it's a really cool hollow though. I do like that. We got Porygon. We got the Pokedex. This, the Evolution Spray by the way. There, this is actually, a, there is an air card of this where it's not yellow like this. It is, um, I actually have three of them. Very difficult to pull, actually. They're not that easy. But there is an air of this, and it's it's a different color. It's like a dark green color instead of this. This is the this is the the correct card of the de evolution uh, devolution spray. It's a darker green, I believe, is the air version of that. So, little little bit of X Y news for you guys. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Hollow Zard is incoming. Raichu is hard to pull. Hollow and Eevee, it seems. Oh, I need to take note when I sort my Evo bulk. Yeah. And then there's also the air. Um, um, Voltorb. Or Electrode. I think it's Electrode. There's the air Electrode. Uh, it's the, it's, a uh, an energy air. Also, I, um, I pulled a few of those. So, here we go, everyone. Last pack, last pack. Can we get something special? Magikarp. Electabuzz. Rafu! Dude, people are so fast at getting those codes. I can't get any. That is crazy. I, I might have um, some codes. I'll give out some codes here after this pack. I got a handful somewhere. Rattata. That's why I try to cover the barcode. Um, I know I know the barcode. People literally get them within an instant. If you cover the barcode, it makes it harder to get them. So I will, uh, I will try to get a handful here. We got some energy and another, another break. And another Doug Trio. Two Machamp breaks. What what are the odds of that in the same box? So no Zard, everybody, but that's cool. We got Zard opening the box. Pretty much. And that is it. There is the code for you. Um That is so insane, man. I, I don't I can't believe that. We got a lot of dupes in that. Um let me show off what we got and then we'll uh, I'll get some codes here to give away. That I know have not been used. They're from the off-camera pulls we do. So there's our Machamp break. Again, everything gets sleeved. I'm going to sleeve everything. I have all sleeves for this stuff. We've got the Magneton Hollow. Big hitter there. The Reverse Mewtwo Hollow. Looks in really good condition. Uh, there's our Fairy Energy. We'll take that. The Secret Rare, Imakuni the Duo. Again, just a fun, you know, Charizard Spirit Link card to pull on the side. Um, just want to double check that this isn't an error. You know, I know you guys can't see it, but it is really, really, really lightly blue. And I remember this being a little darker. It's probably not, but who knows. There's the second Machamp 
right there. Zapdos. There's our Zapdos. And there's the big hit of the bot. Well, actually, there's the Mewtwo again. And then here is the big hit of the box. The Mega Blastoise EX. Very pumped over the, for this one. I actually love this card. This is such a great card. Um, couldn't be happier to get this. Definitely would have preferred the Charizard. Um... I would I would have preferred this one. But we will take the Blastoise, everybody, as my birthday gift for the stream. So I would definitely give this uh, an 8 out of 10. 100%. This is definitely rated an 8. This box was fire. If Elite Trainer boxes today were full of this many hits, holy cow, man. Holy cow. Absolutely madness if they had this many hits. Let me see if I can get the codes, Kides. I'm going to see if I can get some codes for you guys. Hold on. All right. These are all unused codes here. We got a bunch of unused codes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and give these out. Let me see if I can get them in order. That way I can not order, but when I'm showing them. You should definitely be able to get some codes here. I mean, I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go kind of quick. Kind of quick. It's a rookie score? I thought that was a really great ETB. Um, I mean, yeah, technically, if you really break it down, I got two hollows, uh, the Magneton and the Zapdos, and then the Mega the, the Mega Blastoise EX. Uh, then count the two breaks. So that's five hits. But most Elite Trainer boxes don't give you but two hits if you're lucky so i'm definitely giving this a much better score because we also got the two reverse mewtwo's which are really big in evolutions right now uh the imakuno do duo which is a secret rare uh, not crazy in terms of value wise but it's still actually a hit because it is a secret rare um so i definitely think we did pretty well i i would definitely say um, I know probably if you say I could, I should have did a an 8.1, 8.1. I forgot we don't do straight numbers. No eights, no eights allowed. So an 8.1 is what we're giving a score. Here we go. You ready for the codes? Why are you Why are you too quick? I can only get like one in all of. Okay. Well, if I take my time, it's gonna be rough. I'll 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 go slow. I'll go slow. And let's see it, how that works for you, okay? So here's your first code. Bam. I don't know what people do. I don't know how they get these codes fast. But I just know that if you take too long, you're, you're going to miss out. You're not going to probably get all the codes because other people are getting them. But, um, yeah. Oh, that's better, sour cream. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have did an eight. I shouldn't have did an 8. I know we don't do straight numbers. I know. Codes. That's Hidden Fates codes right there. All right. So basically what you have to do, Rafu, is um, just pause on something and just try to get that code and then go and then move on. 
I don't know. I don't know how people get codes because I don't do codes. I just give them out when I when I have them. I have no idea. I've had this for for the two plus years we've been streaming Pokemon content. We hear the same thing. How do people get the code so fast? If they can't scan it, I don't know how they get it that fast. You guys saw my boo boo. I got a boo boo doing yard work. Yeah. And it hurts too. I miss Hidden Fates so much. Hey, I, there was some Hidden Fates dropped this week, dude. If I had money, I could have got it. I just didn't have the money. All right. This is a lot of codes, man. This is a lot. This is probably 25, 30 codes. I'm thinking. So again, hopefully you're able to get some codes, Rafu. I'm trying my best for you here. This is pretty much, I think, all I have off camera. Chilling rain, they'll hope probably be, probably be a lot. I'm hope I'm hoping. I mean, there's no guarantee I'm gonna get stuff, but. You know, we're hoping. Some Champion's Path. Smash that like button for the codes, man. <laughs> Here we go. We're near the end. We're near the end. Again, just go through those codes, man. See what you get from them. That was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That was 35 codes. 36, actually. 36 codes I just gave out, everyone. So hopefully that helps. These are going to go right. Uh, actually, no, here. Again, I, I like to make sure I don't ever reuse codes. So we rip them up. Rip, 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 rip. Keep checking, keep checking, man. Keep checking. Keep going through them. Keep going through them. Mo I, I don't think there's that many people in my stream right now. And the majority that are in here, I don't think are really in here for the codes. So I don't know who else is in here getting codes. Um... But, uh, yeah, it might only be three or four people probably fighting for the code. So, you try to get some more there, man. Try to get some more. That's it. I'm out. Now, I am going to make a video. I'm, I'm going to do a dollar video, guys. Um, we're going to do a uh, Cosmic Eclipse dollar packs versus... Um, Thunder dollar packs versus team up dollar packs versus unbroken bonds dollar packs. We're going to make a video on this. Uh, this is one of the only things left I have to make a video on. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be excited to uh, make a video on these. Um, I typically have really really terrible uh dollar luck so who knows these are sealed oh there goes the camera um yeah so i have typically very very bad dollar luck um but these are actually the majorities are sealed they came packaged sealed there's two packs in here, so people can't search these, uh, and I'm really happy that these came like this, so hopefully there's some good stuff in here. They're non-searched, so we'll see what happens, but that is a video coming at some point in the future. I cannot tell you when, because uh, I just don't know anymore <laughs> about filming, and uh, yeah, so let's see here. I think that's really it, everybody. Um, let's see here. We'll get this set up. So, 
that's going to do it tonight, everyone. Um, I want to give, once again, a really, really big shout out and a huge thank you to my mods. Uh, Henry at Small Openings SG, Ben F Productions, Zenturian F XYZ, Sudan Segment, um, J Jim and Nicole, JD State, CCM90, David's Pokey Life. Again, thank you guys so much for being such great friends uh, of the channel, great friends in, per in real life. And thank you for modding tonight. Big shout out to all you guys who stuck by me tonight. Um, through this stream, uh, this birthday stream, um, Steph and his family over at our family, thank you so much. Jim and Nicole, once again, Pogo Dad, uh, such an epic, epic content creator. Shiny Goggles, uh, thank you again for coming in and sticking out in the live tonight. Um, um, Jodo Johnny was in here tonight. PTCG Hustler was in here tonight. Uh, who else did we have? Um, um, Seismic was in here tonight. Seismic Shock, uh, great dude. Thanks for coming in here. Uh, uh, Grumpy Charizard, a member of our big podcast. He was in here for most of the night. Thank you again, Grumpy, for everything you did. And, of course, have to give um, a huge shout-out to Toxicroak, man. Uh, he's been such uh, a, a wonderful supporter of our channel and everything we've been doing. And I can't thank him enough. Um, thank you so much for the donation tonight, Toxic. Um, sour Cream Donuts, man. I, I greatly appreciate you coming in here and hanging out with us. Um, I know uh, the general was kicked out. I don't know why he was kicked. I didn't see it. But um, he was in here. So, again, not sure what happened. Trevon was in here tonight. Uh, uh, who else was in here? Let me see if I can find... Everybody, oh man, CSG, Cool Squirtle Gaming, um, another really great friend of ours, another epic content creator. They, uh, he was in here tonight. Um, also, you know, big shout out to him. He works in the hospitals. He's been working through the hospitals through all the COVID situation. So, big shout out to uh, CSG. Um, I'm wishing my, I'm missing one of my, wishing one of my really good friends, everybody. Mav the Mav Collector. He's been going through a very difficult time. Uh, if you guys don't remember, a couple months ago, uh, Texas had those nasty, nasty ice storms. Um, unfortunately, his house just out in Houston, um, the water pipes broke, flooding his house, devastating his house. And they're actually living out of an apartment. Well, I think now they've rented an apartment complex. Um, their insurance is pretty much screwing them over. They're having to have a lot. They're having a ton of problems. It's not a very good situation. So I feel for the brother. Um, Mav, I know you probably, I don't know if you're ever going to see this, but, you know, heart's with you. You know, you need anything. You can always call me. Um, hope everything gets better, dude. Um, but yeah, just again, big shout out to all you guys who stuck out with me tonight. And if I forgot your name, I am so apologetically sorry. Again, thank you to everybody who was sticking by tonight. Um, and again, most of them are really great content creators, everybody. Please go check out, if, you, if you're if you watching this video afterward, uh, make sure you go check out these all, all these epic content creators. Oh, Jay, Jay Avila. Um, completely forgot about Jay. Jay is another awesome guy. Um, thank you so much for chopping here, Jay. Um, I know I, I'm going through here now, and I see uh, Charmaine Mercado. Thank you for stopping in. I don't know how long you were in here for tonight, but thank you. Oh, such a long night, everybody. Again, this was my birthday. Uh, we didn't do anything, really, um, except celebrate the um, the future of our kids tonight which was more than enough for me. And then uh, having this night, it was really awesome. Thank you so much. Reggie Rock, LOL. Thank you so much, man. Reggie Rock, uh, congratulates you for living. Thank you so much, Reggie Rock. Um, I'm happy to hit 46 for sure. Um, you know, never know when your time could be up, everybody. Got to take every moment, you know, and live it to the best. So once again, thank you, everybody. That came in here tonight, and uh, I appreciate it all, 
all the birthday wishes. And of course, Rafu, um, hopefully you got what you got. 13 codes, Rafu. Okay, and thank you for coming in. You know, I, I don't care you came in for, if you came in for codes. If you enjoyed yourself and you got something from it, that's that makes me happy. Appreciate it. That's it, everyone. Um, yeah, more videos coming out. The podcast, the next episode should be Monday. Um, yeah, I dropped the EV Heroes video. If anybody wants to see those cards, watch the video for that. And that is going to do it. So... That's it for Epic Tube HD, everyone. Uh, what does is, what is Epic Ethan always say? Have more epic adventures with Epic Tube HD, everyone. Peace out. Till the next one. See ya. Good night. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes.